Can you talk about medication spell binding? I think this is a very important concept. Can you explain what that is? A medication spell binding is often called anosognosia. A medication spell binding is, um, it, it, it's probably some of those people that say that antidepressants have saved their lives. The medication spell binding is a state where people actually believe that the antidepressants are helping them. But in reality, what is happening is that they are behaving very differently and they have a lot of personality changes and other people recognise that the antidepressants are actually doing them harm. And this happens quite a lot. I think it's um, Peter Bregan who talks an awful lot about it. I don't yeah. know whether you've heard him talk about it. but I, I have heard him talk about it too. And yeah. it's, it's, it's almost like a parallel to a person thinking they're good to drive after they've been drinking and their friends are like no you're not good to drive your judgment is impaired yes it's like exactly. that your own self-awareness can become impaired yeah and if that's the case then you won't see clearly exactly how something is affecting your mental emotional and behavioral activity yeah so. it's a- it's exactly that. And um, one of the things that if you listen to people talk, if they have with managed, if they have managed to come off the antidepressants and their their realization of the person that they were mm. when they were actually taking the drugs is frightening. And one of the biggest problems that we have is that the guilt that people feel for the way that they've behaved or the way that they've acted while they've taken these antidepressants is one of the most difficult things, actually, that that Mm. people have to deal with. And it it is incredibly sad. It's almost like, for many of them, years of their lives have been stolen. Because... For many of them, their personalities have been changed and their lives have been damaged to the point where they've lost their homes, they've lost their families, they've lost their they've lost their jobs. They've and it's not until they actually come back to being who they well, if they ever will be who they were before, but it's not until they actually withdraw from their drug the drugs that they actually recognise. What, what had happened to them? 